Let's check it out. Make sure we're coming in live. And we are. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hello, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is January 28th, 2021. And it's our second live stream. We did a live stream earlier today with the kitty cats. <laughs> and uh, we played around with the cats and just talked about GameStop, Wall Street, and a certain amount of life. Okay. And this live stream is about education, open discussion. And this came out uh, through a request uh, that Graham put out. And I think other people seconded and thirded and fourthed it for us to talk about education bureaucracy kills how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream fun times fun times fun times fun times i got another view for you guys as well by the way let me show you this the cats uh, sal and via have been sleeping since we finished the last stream they ran around for another half an hour or so and then they passed out so they've been passed out for about five hours now and here they are if you want to see them Doop. <laughs> that's our kitty cats now while we wait for people to roll in let me give you my little intro as to who i am what this is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho if you want to follow this work if you want to if you want to know what this work is about patreon is a great way to do so if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike and for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and for those of you that want to follow this work and see what this is about because we change things up a lot uh you can follow the work on patreon emily how are you doing hope you're doing well we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e bureaucracy kills so cute are they indoor they are indoor cats yeah we're gonna set up our patio uh so they can go out uh in the spring and summer and whenever it's not raining in the patio but we're in the middle of winter so we haven't set that up yet we just got them a week ago they just arrived oh they are so sweet <laughs> well how's everyone doing yeah they're super sweet i'm doing fantastic we had a, like a basically a two-hour kittens live stream earlier today so they were running around they're super cool they're super cool and uh, anyone that wants to join these live streams uh, hop in here we are on twitch for those of you who've been supporting this work on twitch thank you very much for the support mods thank you for taking care of business and gang thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the bits thank you for the points thank you for being here and participating in the discussion the real mc mike how are you doing long time no see yay another live stream indeed water exile how are you doing Hannah, how's life? It's Chicho. This is my uh, backup account. Hannah 10. Hannah J10? What was the previous one? Was it just Hannah 10? Nice to have you back. Dragons, how are you doing? What's up, Chicho? Again, again. Intrepid, how's life, brother? Hey, Chicho, how are you doing, my friend? Doing fantastic, brother. Doing fantastic. Been really busy getting prepped for the kittens to show up so we've been sort of kitten proofing the house certain about two-thirds of the house and that's where they're gonna have free access to uh, so it's been really busy but super fun man super fun uh, and our first account was suspended randomly i don't know why <laughs> regal rage laugh out loud 306 how are you doing chicho do you think there's any chance of majority green actually being forced to resign who's uh majority uh majority green i don't know who that is i'm really crappy with names so i'm sorry they will put my original account up february 12th okay cool 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 uh should i see video or audio only you should be seeing video i hope so i hope the video is coming out yeah the video is coming out from my end uh cute kitties thanks Good evening, sir. Punished. Punished panda bear. How are you doing? I see video. Yeah. The other one had, had a bunch of ends in it. 
Oh, that's right. That's right. It did. Fruito, how are you doing? I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds L O V K Gap Parlor when it comes back online and Twitter. You can follow the work there, and we do have a Discord page where people are sharing a lot of information. And you can go to our Twitch channel anytime you want and type an exclamation mark social, and all the links will pop up, including the Discord link at the bottom there so you can join there uh, and there's a lot of cool discussions and sharing or information taking place there water exile i'm just shell-shocked at the stacks of executive orders being signed in one. <laughs> so is it a democracy that we live in <laughs> executive order this and an executive order that i'd like to sign a few executive orders Maz, ah oh, got video now awesome 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 Maz. rage chicho she's a QAnon uh parkland shooting gop member who was uh just appointed to the education committee total national missy <laughs> i don't know <laughs> parkland denying the rage listen there our governments in the western world are full of not jobs like really you'd be hard pressed of not not finding a nut job like really and they're in education they're in they're everywhere they're everywhere right this sh this shit has been pushed up to the top right lots of interesting finance chat going on lots of interesting finance chat Emily. we're going to talk about finance tomorrow during a mass stream we're going to talk about uh uh gamestop okay and wall street and the action it needs to be done okay it needs to be done well there was a lawyer lawyer of things to unfuck <laughs> lot there was a lot of things to unfuck indeed indeed but i don't think they're gonna do a good job of it tell you the truth hannah chicho are the kittens blood related they're brothers they're brothers they're brothers rage they're infested with these people it's so disheartening it is that is what capital as power does right centralization of power right i i am recording this live stream on a lapel mic and the audio will be available on soundcloud.com as a podcast when we load up the video on 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 oops <laughs> on youtube it shoot artist a rumble and if i have enough coins on odyssey I'm, I'm still trying to figure things out with odyssey gang okay water exile can you break down the whole game spot thing so confused by it all and the robin hood hashtag um water exile we talked about it a little bit earlier today okay and it's became clear that i need to go into a little bit of detail with it and give you guys my perspective on it tomorrow morning at 8 30 a.m pst my time we've got a two-hour block to do drop and math tutoring session right for an hour of that block anywhere between half an hour to an hour of that block um, i'm going to take the time tomorrow morning and explain to you what the game is right now okay try to explain to you my perspective of what's taking place why it is taking place where it's going and what it indicates okay um because i'm gonna have to do some visuals on it just random sketches like just just to get the get the information presented the proper way uh it's just doodles really but talking in the air using my hands works but you need the pointers pointing to the right places and i can break it down better um is that okay and i'll have that video up uh on all these platforms and odyssey i'll see if i can sort things out you know it's not linking up with my phone and it needs personal information to be able to do uh get more coins and stuff so as soon as i start getting more coins in odyssey i'll just upload as the coins become available okay but this video as well as the mass stream tomorrow and the GameStop uh, stream and the kitten stream will be up on YouTube, BitChute, and Rumble. Guaranteed. Okay. 
grand water exile hedge funds got caught being greedy and redditors found out about it uh, it's more complicated than that uh graham it's more complicated than that okay they, there's a lot of things going on there's a lot of things going on and it's not about hedge funds being greedy it's about uh destroying a company okay it's not even greed was a part of it but when um when they short a stock naked shorts going down it prevents a company from refinancing right it's 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 a big game it's a big game hannah chicho do you think platforms like facebook and twitter would be better if they had more competitors uh facebook is garbage twitter is pretty much garbage totally controlled uh the censorship um i'm on there i just deleted uh, got rid of all my friends on facebook and uh i'm not active on facebook uh, i was barely active there i just kept on touch with some people but i just sent out a mass message saying you want to get in touch with me do it off facebook right uh you need competition uh facebook and twitter are monopolistic they they're the tool of a centralized state right <laughs> my eyes so low <laughs> You love doodles me too man me too it's the way i process information so water exile says brilliant i love doodles as a visual learner yeah me too and as far as education goes it's the best way for me uh to learn okay let me take these guys down the kittens have been passed out for five hours now I know it's more complicated but we'll talk about it later yeah we'll talk about it later let's focus on education gang okay and i'll keep this view going now you know we can look at the kitty cats while we talk about education and once they get out of there we do have this other view camera that i've set up that uh boop, we can <laughs> convert to this view so you don't have you don't have me as a little guy in the corner over here but for now let's look at the kitty cats the kitty cats rock <laughs> citadel owns both melvin and robin hood ben bernanke is there <laughs> it's a dragon it's a joke <laughs> what are up? also yes stonks hashtag has been so cryptic to me i feel like in the twilight zone yeah i don't understand i saw the stonks uh hashtag but is that supposed to mean buy high sell low is that what it's talking about water exile Anna, if movement towards perfect com competition in any industry is great yeah and all you have to do is is it, <laughs> like facebook and twitter are not independent companies they're an arm of the government right there is no free market in the united states is monopolies and governments what you drinking today i'm drinking uh cherry liqueur salute gang salute homemade cherry liqueur Zara deleted my Facebook account years ago still in Twitter because I like to get people shit Robin Hood is my latest victim <laughs> awesome Zara and hello hello how are you doing the the Eddie G your cats are precious you show thank you very much they're super cute man they don't shed no shedding no hair everywhere really it's amazing it's amazing i really like it it's amazing hannah theoretically speaking if the big health insurance companies within the u.s had more competition with that also improve the healthcare. care a competition improves our our lives period okay period graham chicho there's a subreddit called uh I want to 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 learn and I realize that there is a market for video about how to learn certain things so that's what I'm working on right now it's not a how-to video it's a how to learn to video awesome Graham and just to let you know Graham my playlist the videos I put out of how to study which is basically how to learn and I put those out the first two i first three i put out of how to study were back in like 2007 2008 those are some of my top videos that get 
uh, get views on YouTube. There's a huge demand for information and basically guidance of how to learn. So if you go in that direction, fantastic. I, I people need that. Like one of my top videos that I put out uh, back, I don't know when, like eight years ago, nine years, eight years ago, I guess, was how to read a textbook, right? Because after working with students, and Graham, you know this for sure because you work with students, most students have no idea how to read a textbook. It's not part of the curriculum. Like for me, if I was running a school, I would have a class, a course, not a class, but a course on how to learn, how to read a textbook, how to watch a video, how to take notes, how to create a list, how to create a to-do list, how to knock off your to-do list, how to interlink your notes, like huge, huge, huge right eddie g stonks is just a meme on the internet for any time you make a gain monetarily or otherwise ah is it okay cool 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 thank you eddie i didn't know that i didn't know that dr serviet seven i have invested fifty dollars on dog coin is that dog coin and i have gained over forty dollars in a few hours after friday i'm selling all my shares and putting into dog 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 i believe it will go so i since alan is investing in it as well i i personally don't like alan musk he's the same crap as uh bezos and whatnot hannah how's facebook an arm of the government didn't the u.s government go after facebook for mass privacy breaches a few years ago uh yeah no uh it was funded by there they, they give their data to him basically it's a spying mechanism surveillance mechanism and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange right julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information please see our julian assange and wikileaks playlist graham absolutely those are my favorites are they the how to learn stuff yeah yeah water exile regarding education chicho do you think the you demis are the future um you demis you demis you got to tell me what you demis is i don't know all the lingo there's so much lingo there <laughs> dr soviet seven redeem 500 points yay <laughs> awesome um you demi university online universities i don't know what you demis is Graham Chicho, my first video is how to learn to cook. Also, it's not about following recipes, but how to put it all together and really gain true knowledge about cooking as an idea. Awesome, Graham. Awesome. Bureaucracy kills. I was diagnosed with ADHD last week at the age of 28. Explains a lot about my time at school. I'm very interested in developing the skill set needed to self teach more effectively cool and bureaucracy kills us a lot of students and adhd is for me it, it to me it just means you got a fast processor right so you know it, it varies for people right but my experience is um when i start working with students that have the adhd or have been diagnosed by adhd I feed them information rapidly and I jump between multiple ideas right so if I'm specifically when I'm teaching mathematics but I do this with physics as well right but when I'm teaching mathematics I teach one concept another concept another concept another concept because they they on the extreme case students or e even the mid-range they lose interest in a topic if you stay on it too long right it gets boring i'm on the same spectrum i get bored that's why i multitask as you've probably guessed by now right as you probably guessed with the way i do my live stream my videos the content i create uh and all the different platforms like like i need to be uh excited about things right so one way that i interact with my students who are diagnosed with adhd or i think they're on that spectrum i teach multiple topics at the same time with a core linkage between each one right now initially that linkage may, may not be prevalent 
it may not be on the forefront right but what i end up doing is i drop hints i plant seeds that i emphasize i amplify the concept in this uh, topic that is also amplified in this topic and links up to that and so on and so forth so that's the way i teach my students that need the information fed to them rapidly and they need to jump from one concept to another uh, it's the way they thrive majority of them there are exceptions of course right the real Mike, MC Mike, H -E Cho. My roommate and I were talking earlier and we wanted to create content on mathematics. He's finishing up his master's in mathematics. We were hoping to do this later this year and it would be related to mathematics, also coding and some finance too. We were wondering if you could, uh, if we could collaborate uh, or maybe share with you guys on the Discord page is if okay. Well, MC Mike, 100%. We have a we have a folder on our Discord page, which is self promotion. So you're 100% welcome when you're creating content to link it up there. And we have folders that are regarding mathematics, physics. Uh, we don't have a folder on coding, but we got technology, we got science. So if you're creating something, gang, you're, if you're a content creator, you're sharing information, and we have an education, uh, self promotion for education, and an education folder, right? If you're creating content, right? If you're sharing information, you are 100% uh, welcome to share that information on our Discord okay i know a lot of platforms they say oh no self-promotion and stuff like this f with them if you're self-promoting if you're selling a product no if you're sharing information creative comments open for people to read it watch it listen to it work on it man mc mike 100 you're 100 welcome to share that information as far as collaboration goes i've collaborated with some people on regarding uh, regarding certain things uh you can take a look at my math and real life playlist uh, we have, i have a fair bit of collaboration there with other people and there's some collaborations that i was supposed to do with other content creators but it takes a lot of energy to do collaborations right so it, see how it goes share what you're sharing and i'm open to it uh but it requires a lot of effort for my part okay and it depends where i am and how many things i got going on right dragons bureaucracy kills how did they test for that uh was actually looking into it for the adhd that uh, bureaucracy kills will confirm this there's a whole bunch of different uh you know they give you tests you have to talk to uh, a psychologist psychiatrist I don't know who, who they are you have to talk to people counselors and stuff like this and they recommend and they go through a whole process right what kind of animals are they they're uh, lynx Balinese kittens cats they're two brothers Rambo they don't shed they're hypoallergenic Udemy is a website for online learning it's a monthly subscription based platform with purchasable lecture series okay cool water exile it is mainly modular for all sorts of topics the problem is some of the topics are are of mixed quality courses seems yeah then it's basically like any other sort of education center the teacher matters right a lot of people ask me what type of school would you, you know do you recommend do you recommend private schools uh, alternative schools public schools and stuff like this I can't recommend a school for me it's the teacher that matters end of story I've had I've worked with students that are in private school that are paying up the yin-yang the parents are paying up the yin-yang for these kids to go to high school and I've worked with kids who are in alternative schools I've worked with kids who are homeschooling I've worked with kids who are um, in um, self-learning or whatever it is all different different spectrums different places right there is no one school one system that i found that works for everyone if you're self-learning you need the right tools at your disposal to be able to self-learn if you're going to school 
find good teachers get in their classes really that's private chartered uh, public alternative schools doesn't matter okay it's the teacher that matters the rest is tertiary at best okay ding babber yay chicho that's why i always feel comfortable sharing music with you. indeed ding babber and ding babber is uh he's creating a lot of music and he's sharing a ton of his music on our discord which is fantastic we have eduardo another person that's active on our discord he's sharing a lot of his drawings a lot of his art right obviously i create content i'm sharing my content right so it's it's collaboration it's cooperation it's sharing information sleepy waves how are you doing how much were the cast they were expensive my partner my partner flipped the bill for him she ended up getting them and she got all their toys and everything right uh she was the one that really wanted the kitty cats and initially she was gonna only gonna get one and then uh we talked about it and uh her mom recommended we get two because cats get lonely she said you know it'd be good if you get two cats and it was above our budget and uh, her mom was gracious enough to flip the bill for the second one so and she loves cats she came here and played with the kitty cats so it was awesome hannah chicho after february 12th this account will be known as afro horse oh really okay hannah thanks for letting us know also forgive me but you mean a horse with an afro <laughs> or is afro something else afro horse cool bureaucracy kills i'm going to let them put me on meds and see what happens are you the fast-paced topic switching idea makes sense for studying okay be careful with the meds bureaucracy kills okay that's i've never been on them but i've had students on them uh go slow very 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 slow okay salute everyone graham our governments our centralized institutions are so concerned with one size fits all solutions why is this uh control that's my take graham it's not it's not because of incompetence i think it's by design because they can't afford uh for people to become independent and free-thinking human beings because they will question what many of our governments are doing on many fronts in terms of educational paradigms yeah graham that's my take i don't think it's because of incompetence i think it's by design i think that's what it is okay and the system is work working perfectly the way it's supposed to for capital as power right some people might consider that perspective to be a little jaded but i think it's the fact emily laugh out loud slick mick 99 mental health support in schools is a joke 100 percent is a joke it's destructive it's it's anything but mental health my home village has been rocked by three suicides of students in the last two years oh unfortunate absolute joke i knew them very well and i feel schools offer very little support in a way of student well-being at at least here in ireland yeah slick mick is the same crap in canada and actually worse in the united states um, i don't know how bad it is in ireland from what you're saying it's pretty bad man uh it the bullying here is off you know through the roof uh, people are just lost and then they have the whole full force the pressure of centralized power saying you have to do this ringing a bell write this test you have to think about the future you have to it's absolute garbage i don't know what it's like in uh, graham where you are i'm assuming it's the same emily be very careful with the meds emily says do lots of research and play clo pay close attention to side effects i'm with emily multiplied by two three four five six ten right really be careful with the meds i wish donite was here donite is one of our mods and uh, he's he has experience with pharmaceuticals on that level so he's been 
he's been giving some advice to people so you're welcome to go to our discord okay and just uh uh shout out do a shout out to donite maybe in uh health right and just ask him donite what do you think and i think that donite has been pretty straight up i'm more cautious than on donite when it comes to pharmaceuticals uh but i submit to his authority because he's had experience with them well to a certain degree he's had experience with them right Graham, bureaucracy kills learning doesn't only happen one way and you may not need meds be careful first i can answer questions about learning methodologies if you have them awesome thank you for the offer Graham. and bureaucracy kills hit up Graham, man he's in our discord he's very active on our discord and he goes out of his way to help people out man so same with donate same with a lot of people in our discord man okay water exile what do you recommend for focusing when it comes to students or people working from home i'm an animator and even though i am experiencing ongoing lockdowns here in the uk my mind races at everything i want to achieve before i return to um uninspiring day job people say routine and being physically active physical exercise 100 percent water exile 100 another thing i recommend is this look a lot of us put off a lot of little things that we need to get done that we say oh i'll do that later i'll do that later and what happens is over time all those little things pile up right so one thing i recommend if you're getting a little anxious that you're not getting the important things done and you're distracted and you can't focus take a few hours it's going to take more than that if you've been doing this for a long time a few days it's going to take more than that if you've been doing this for a long time a few weeks possibly right get all that little crap out of the way right it's like meditation and meditation is another thing you can do 100 percent water exile right but think of it as meditation a lot of people have a hard time with meditation right because when they try to meditate they say oh my mind wanders my mind wanders your mind if you're just starting meditation your mind is supposed to wander because you've never sat still long enough to let your mind deal with the noise of our societies right so it's going to take a certain amount of time to get filtered through the noise and what you'll notice is all the little things will disappear slowly right done 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 it's like a checklist done done and create a checklist by the way i have a video out saying to create a to-do list right create a to-do list start knocking things off and what you're going to notice is slowly you're going to start dealing with the more important things in your life maybe be projects maybe work maybe important family things that you needed to do water exile what you're asking me is sort of related to the videos i've been creating on how to study playlist because that how to study is also how to manage your life take a look at that playlist the playlist is on youtube i haven't uploaded that stuff on i might have one video on bit but i created most of that stuff um, a few years ago before i got onto bit before i was live streaming on twitch right so in the last 10 years i think i started creating that stuff right uh, look at those videos they will help you out i think okay ding bob or slick mick okay i'm gonna skip just to see if there's anything being directed at me gang if you guys are talking with each other fantastic man uh, i hope the conversation is going well and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity okay for more information you can take a look at the julian assange and wikileaks playlist i have more toilet paper how are you doing good morning from the future good morning future how are you doing ding bob or chicho remember that story i told you uh told you via dm of my experience with uh psychic wards uh, yeah 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 it's okay if you don't but i was uh, i was mad most of my messages were in caps uh, brother it's all good ding bobber 
It's all good. Water exile. Also, regard antidepressants. Um, I'm coming up to a year off my medication. It's it's a weaning process. Quitting cold turkey can be incredibly dangerous. Incredibly dangerous. Gang, if you are on pharmaceuticals, you start reading things online saying this is bad. The side effects are bad and stuff like this very bad idea to cut it cold turkey really uh so if you dug yourself into a hole if you've been on a pharmaceutical or doing something that later on you find out it's not the healthiest thing to do or it might be detrimental to you or you're not liking what you're doing look at the consequences and how you're supposed to get yourself out of that hole okay that applies to everything in life uh, water exile continues I was borderline suicidal when I stopped uh, sir uh, Trilline. always consult a GP doctor always 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 thank you for putting that out there water exile slick Mick I read that article you shared about schools in Las Vegas uh, desperate to open in response to suicide yeah yes thing bobber 100% having suffered myself I see the gaps a good friend of mine is doing research about the possible hereditary nature of mental health struggles okay. the real MC Mike got to run Chicho I might pop in later my MC Mike thanks for coming in I hope you have a fantastic time We'll be back at this tomorrow, brother. We got five more, six more live streams to do, right? The kitty cats are slowly waking up. Uncharted days. Hey, Chicho, hope you, uh, hope you and Chad are well. Thank you very much, Uncharted days, and thank you for the Twitch Prime sub in the last stream. Uh, Uncharted days, appreciate it. I have more toilet paper. Interesting topic. Um, unfortunately, I had two friends take their lives in a year. Ouch. Uh, one unfortunately went to a mental health uh, appointment walked out the hospital and took his own life oh man even as a 32 year old i find the pressure of achieving one's potential either through fitness career relationships etc can be extremely overwhelming i envy the communities of such as laos uh, such as Laos yes they have nothing but the simplicity in their lives seems to be liberating what's your thoughts uh, look as Biggie said more money more problems right when we have a lot in the world we can get distracted and overwhelmed with this abundance simplicity means you can focus more on what it is that you're doing so there is there is a certain amount of truth in that indeed 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 but you can't assume that just because people have a simple life they don't have problems or just because people have a complicated life they do have problems we are all unique beings we are all unique creatures and we are triggered burdened at different levels by different things certain things that bring me down might not bring you down and vice versa so as the saying goes you know people say grass is greener on the other side be careful with that be careful with that if you find your life being overwhelming reduce what you're consuming and what is overwhelming you right skywalker 407 the important thing about med meditation is that the mind is going to wander naturally the thing to do is to accept these thoughts for what they are without judgment and then bring your mind back to focus on a single thing the breath is always a good point of focus to me indeed skywalker and what's going to happen is when you're meditating you might be looping certain things right loop 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 keeps on coming back keeps on coming back after a while you get exhausted of that thought and the thought poof, dissipates right evaporates really that is exactly what happens and you realize that thought was not worth the time the energy the effort the thought that you put into it that it would resolve itself in time right and one of the focal points of meditation is to get a handle on time right and time is one of the reasons that we have so much stress in our 
education system in our lives and it's been indoctrinated in us through our centralized education system right because they put everyone on the clock and after 12 years of being under the clock right people graduate high school and go to secondary or job or whatever and they're always under the clock but that's not what life is life is about experience life is about uh, relationships life, life is not about checking in at the right time and checking out at the right time it's not about the clock right eliminate time if you have the abilities or get rid of the importance of time to govern your way of being and you'll find out that a lot of anxiety and a lot of the stresses in your life may disappear right we should have time for meditation in our schools Graham indeed indeed Graham Chicho I unfortunately have to go oh Graham really please talk about lots of good education stuff everyone I want to watch the VOD later indeed Graham I hope we have a fantastic evening okay the edigy I was on uh, medicine to help my cold sores go away faster and I found like a year later it causes liver damage so I got off that fast yeah yeah, a lot of those a lot of pharmaceuticals man the side effects on pharmaceuticals are huge gang do your research do your research and if anything is associated with your liver drink lots of water okay drink lots of water the bane of existence look into gaps diet and the primal diet for healing your mental state through food lots of results from it yeah i don't know the gaps diet but gang if you're having health issues if you're having stress if you're having period like life is overwhelming you one of the first things you need to do is to improve your diet improve your diet okay ding bobber i'm gonna allow that Automod is zapping idiot. I don't know why. I have more toilet paper. Completely agree, uh, Graham. My finance is struggling mentally after my fiance is struggling mentally after recent birth. Meditation is really helping her. Awesome. Awesome. And congrats. Bureaucracy kills. I went cold turkey on a on an SSRI a few years ago. It was a really dumb idea lesson learned i hope gina hey you chicho and chad and cutie kittens ah, i love them so much awesome gina i'm glad you do they're super cool look at them they're so cuddly <laughs> really and that's uh, the one scratching is uh sal and the other one is via okay ding bobber chicho speaking with simplicity there's an immense truth in that in my opinion if you are overwhelmed try coming back to the sun drink some water breathe in and out meditate on now and it's utter simplicity yeah and one of the other things you can do to eliminate anxiety and it, it's a meditation but you're doing meditation is go on long walks right either put on headphones listen to music listen to lecture listen to whatever right or quiet I do both right mainly I used to do some lectures but I don't anymore I do mainly music and silence and get into a rhythmic walk it's good for the body it's good for your spirit it's good for your soul it's good for your mental well-being really gang and your mind once you get into that rhythmic motion your mind starts filtering out the noise starts looping some of the noise right and then slowly the noise disappears and start connecting the dots and you realize a whole bunch of things that you thought were disconnected were all related to one thing and once you deal with that one thing you just eliminate a whole bunch of noise in your life and a whole bunch of anxiety just went away right fantastic lions how are you doing hey chicho's life life is good brother been doing a lot of kitten uh kitten playtime today 
Dr. Sevier, imagine if Trump wasn't for a second term. Ever wonder what he would say to all the stock stuff? Not really. I, I really didn't wonder uh, what he ever said. Like, or do I do Biden? It doesn't matter to me. They are just puppets. I have more toilet paper talking thing about her. People are talking with each other. I'm gonna scroll down again to see if there's anything directed towards me. Sleepy wave, Chicho, in response to your message about freeing yourself from time. How do we do this? Just live your life on a day to day basis. Not necessarily make plans for the future. Uh, eliminating time or getting a handle on time doesn't mean just think about the now. No. Learn from the past, look forward to the future, live in the present one thing i did for myself to eliminate the power that time had on my life was i read a book by jose arguelles called time of the technosphere and i don't agree with everything anybody says right the, the most like really gang so time of the technosphere by jose arguelles he said stuff in there that i didn't agree with but he did he provided one uh, exercise that you could do one experiment that you could do to get a handle on time your own time and he recommended eliminating clocks from your line of sight right so don't have a clock on your wall in your house in your room all the time where you can autumn you know at a glance you find out what time it is right which is one of the problems in our centralized education system there's clocks everywhere right that's part of the programming that's part of the indoctrination that's part of the problem right so when i read that book i said okay i took that to heart and i took what robert anton wilson had mentioned and i've read robert anton wilson not his books but his articles and i've listened to a lot about robert anton wilson and he mentions that all of these things that people read about how to how to become healthy how to become uh mentally more aware how to achieve uh nirvana how to do this how to do this people are just reading them but they're not doing any of the exercises that all these so-called gurus or teachers or prophets have been telling people to do right so robert anton wilson i took two ideas from two different people right robert anton wilson saying that the most important thing that you need to do if you're trying to better yourself if you're reading from someone uh, that has gone through certain experiences and they're sharing certain information they will have exercises for you to do may they be breathing exercises walking exercises if they're teaching mathematics math exercises doing exercises is important right so taking that robert anton wilson's words and reading jose arguela's time in the technosphere him saying try this experiment remove the clock from your line of sight and i did that and wow 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 sleepy waves and anyone else right all of a sudden your internal clock kicks in you get a better handle on time and you do a little time shift right it's incredibly powerful and once i did that and i used to wear a watch got rid of the watch i have watches and boxes all right i need to sell those right i got rid of wrist watches i eliminated the clock from my line of sight the only time the only way i can tell what time it is i look on my computer and i specifically have to look on it i don't have my lower bar always up right and on our stove here i've lived in another place where I even put tape on that so i couldn't tell what time it was unless i looked on the computer right try it out it's a fantastic experiment and it will take it took weeks for me to notice the difference maybe months okay emily thanks bud more toilet paper says if that's towards me you're welcome brother emily the less time you spend thinking about time the more productivity productive you can become because you can focus on what you need and what to do i agree with emily 100 percent. how do you tell them apart um we had a caller they behave differently the characters are different uh 
one of them meows more uh, via meows more right so not the one scratching but the other one tends to go meow, meow, like little cute little meows okay so and sal is more aggressive uh via is more chill uh looks wise very difficult very difficult one of them has a little scar on one of his paws but you can't really tell and one of them has darker ears right but you can't really tell unless they're right beside each other it's by the character by the way they move by the way they play i love more toilet paper chicho would love your thoughts i'm currently in the early stages of um uh, applying for the police it's always been a desire of, of me but what uh with my um awakening of our messed up messed up our utopian system is i fear the joining the force would put me into some significant uh, conflation i'm currently self-employed but it's not fulfilling uh i love my toilet paper look you know this right and anybody following my work knows this police uh the institution of policing is completely corrupt in canada and united states and in huge chunks of the world right police institutions are the enforcers of a centralized power right and if you look at their history they've brutalized citizens of countries throughout history right however you can still do good in a system like that as long as you don't it doesn't break you down like i have a friend that's in the police force the rcmp she's an amazing human being really right and i haven't seen her for a while but she's i've talked to her online a couple of times and she is still an amazing human being and i i really can't see her being corrupted you have to be that powerful right you have to be that powerful if it's something you feel is your calling pursue it right but make sure you have a line you will not cross and that is uh, could be difficult right could be very very challenging okay so it's something that you'll have to think about uh, you know i don't want to stand in people's uh stand in the way of people's dreams and what they want to do because my experience my perception of something may be completely different than what reality may be right lions what have i missed what we talking about really busy day uh, of work my small business is starting to kick into gear nice that's good lions congrats congrats and we're jumping all over the place brother and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information check out our julian assange and wikileaks playlist ding bobber shisho microdosing magic mushrooms helped me quit drinking every day for a whole seven months i also went off my meds i have some of the best seven months of my life and then dumb me started drinking again damn it led me back to the psychosis and med uh, medications next time i quit my meds i will be ready awesome ding bobber and gang uh the war on cannabis is ending right the war on psilocybin mushrooms right uh magic mushrooms you want to call them medicinal plants is going to come to an end and it must a lot of the natural a uh, lot of what nature provides us is there for a reason right so do your research figure stuff out there's a lot of information that we have not been privy to and it is important that we are exposed to that information right before we make any huge decisions bureaucracy kills we have been uh, trained to live around the school bells indeed just like you know 
was growing for the jail bell water exile do you think education is a post in a post covid climate will liberate us from the con of university fees or do you think it will give away to more corruption on online learning uh, we're going to go through phases with online learning stuff but i think we're seeing some amazing changes coming through water exile right there is a lot of positive that's come about because of these lockdowns because of the because of covid because of all this stuff right because of the collapse of legacy systems because of the veil being lifted on wall street of the banking institutions of silicon valley of the education system of centralized power and people are going wait a second wait a second right why wasn't i taught this why didn't i know this and some of the people that are really waking up are the ones that are going wait a second they lied to me right if you're finding yourself in a situation where you're waking up and realizing the central power has lied to you more power to you your job right now is to self-educate and as long as we have free flow of information no censorship no censorship and if you're wise right then what you can teach yourself in a matter of two years will be more than what our centralized education system taught you in 12 years okay lions i'm in need of a new good watch if you want to throw one over I mean, they're all in boxes brother <laughs> i have one watch it was a it was an older watch it was uh what do you call it it was a swiss watch that i sold on ebay like six years ago it wasn't working anymore someone bought it for like 200 bucks or something uh, and i sent it to germany i think the guy was in germany uh 200 250 dollars he bought it for i sent it to him and he left a positive feedback he loved it right sleepy wave chicho so your desktop computer don't got the time because i don't have clocks in my house but i got it got the time on my iphone and computer yeah my cell phone is off most of the time right i only turn it off when i need to text someone that's it <laughs> or when i'm expecting a text right so yeah like right now uh i knew the time that we were going live at four o'clock right but for me i could my internal clock is really good like really uh, it used to be better because i didn't have the schedule of live streaming and stuff right and i had what i had was uh, i had a lot of students that used to come to my space right so all i knew is just i would just wake up and do my thing and students would start coming and i didn't really keep track of what time they came they just came we did our stuff and they left because their parents would come and get them and stuff right or they would have to go somewhere so it was interesting ding bobber chicho i have the solution to your cat identification problem spray paint one of the blue and the other one red well if i spray paint one blue i don't have to paint the other one right sleep with me chicho it's naive to believe that a systematic and violent institution like the police force won't corrupt you at some some level it's pure indoctrination but sleepy waves me and you and almost everyone here has gone through an indoctrination system for 12 years right for a period we were indoctrinated but we were able to break out of that shell and we are more human for it right so i, I agree with you to a certain degree i think majority of people will be indoctrinated will be forced to cross a line that they might not be able to live with right but I have faith in humanity that individuals are more powerful than uh, institutions right ding bobber 10 years in jail in four years at yale black eyed peas is that their lyrics 10 years in jail uh is four years at yale uh -huh. black eyed peas aka the cost to hold a prisoner for 10 years is the same as the price for four years at yale university okay for me i read that in in another way uh 10 years i read it as 10 years in jail and four years in yale 10 years in jail to me was 
10 years of school <laughs> high school and elementary school but that was supposed to be 12 so i reread it again it said 10 years in jail is four years in yale and i interpret that as being if you're in jail for 10 years you can learn as much as being in university for four years right i'm pretty sure you can learn a lot more as long as you have access to the books in 10 years in jail in two years in jail than you would learn in four years at yale but yeah cost wise indeed prison industrial complex right gadget lfx hey chicho how are you doing good doing good thank you very much emily do schools need need better security protection no if so how do you better protect students in schools this is on my mind a lot with all the school shootings and threats uh no i don't think we need policing in the way it's done in our centralized education systems and our centralized education systems are emily as far as i see it are just destructive forces so uh, how do you protect students you protect them by educating them but our centralized schooling is not education so it's a it's a horrendous loop right you hire better teachers you create uh more uh learning space right set up a school where you're you're surrounded by trees not by fences right set up a school where kids can choose their own curriculum right hire educators and make sure they're not overwhelmed with 30 40 students per class that reduce your class sizes to tennis 10 10 maximum right hire bring on um uh, health care workers mental health care workers to deal with that feed students right provide good food in schools right just in case there you have students in your class that are below the poverty line or in your school that are below the poverty line are not getting good nutrition uh, provide extracurricular activities such as music sports uh, playtime going for walks in the forest uh, build community like there's so much you could do other than hiring security with guns to stand outside the doors right it's a long game it's not going to solve the problem overnight it's 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 taken decades to reach this point it's going to take at least years for us to come out of it right young polacks educate yourself educate yourself educate yourself so young polack says educate yourself f these elitists who don't give a f about us indeed indeed the water exile i think we are getting to a stage in tech where we need to cut the crap with the millions of apps on our phones we are in an attention war can you or anyone in the chat recommend simplistic smartphones in the market gang i don't i don't run any apps <laughs> i have on my phone i just use it for texting like that's it like literally texting i have a program that's texting i can make calls i have that whatever has calls you can make in the evenings for free and stuff like this i don't pay much and i don't load on apps on the phone on my computer i load it on telegram right because um, i got off facebook uh twitter's garbage uh centralized platforms are censoring up the yin yang and telegram was the one that said it wasn't going to censor right so uh yeah people have way too many apps right and don't forget gang free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital hours as power to humanity support him more information on julian assange and wikileaks playlist thing bobber there's more blacks rotting in prison than there ever was picking cotton same group same song and chain gangs like gang our prison system is slave labor for corporations it's crazy 
Prabhi Shan. School feels like a, a factory. Six days a week, eight hours a day, one hour for food break. That's insane. It's a school to prison pipeline. And it's by design. Lions. Well, not all schools are shooting uh, galleries. That's just America. I could always go to school and never have to worry ever about getting shot. America is a third world country wearing a Gucci belt. <laughs> it's crazy. But there are school shootings in other places, Lions, as well. But nothing like the States, uh, for sure. There have been some in Canada as well. But again, uh, we need to completely change the education system like completely change it completely change it right like for me going back to police and enjoying the police force and uh, this institution right for me I could never go into a centralized education system I wouldn't last right as soon as they you know like I would never cross a certain line where I teach things in a certain way because I believe that's the way they should be taught right I think the curriculum is horrendous right if I had an authority come to me and say hey chicho you can't teach that in class that's for next year you know i would tell them to f off because <laughs> the kids need to learn that right i wouldn't last two seconds in a centralized institution right and i've worked in them and i've contracted out to them as a geophysicist i formed my own company i contracted out to them i realized within two years that i couldn't deal with the bureaucracy it's garbage right bureaucracy kills <laughs> right bureaucracy bureaucracy kills your name is perfect bureaucracy kills it kills our societies it kills humanity it dumbs us down right awesome gang I'm at the bottom of chat coolio coolio root kit it with kit that values simplicity and privacy yeah simplicity and privacy indeed indeed gang salute 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 uh cherry homemade liqueur and i have my cherries here too check this out these are the cherries right they're super delicious They still have the seeds. Have a little plate, put the seed in it. Have a little sip. Emily says the cat stretches are adorable. Yeah. They're super cuddly they're crazy cuddly so soft so soft like wow yeah we're coming out to six hours of sleep now and i know why the egyptians worshipped cats and these are uh links i believe their origin they have some kind of egyptian cat mix in them they got really big ears right lions i've never heard of an of any of this side of the ocean past the year 2000 i understand this uh, cent uh centralization of western education but i'm a fan of my country's education system it's very affordable and university education is very heavily encouraged and endorsed by grants from the government and to be honest college sometimes feels like a ha haven a break away from big brother in the cities and in, in society lions i'm not against university or college education i went to university uh, and i went to college as well and it was an amazing experience i did things that i could have never done outside of university or an end college right i learned a lot i focused i got my math minor i did extra stuff so i used it to my full advantage because i was paying for it right it was costing me money costing me time and i wanted to get as much out of it as i could right and one thing to note gang lions i'm going to boost your ego here man in 1998 i traveled europe i went to a hand like a lot of countries i spent two and a half months backpacking around europe and stuff like this gang the most politically aware discussions i had with people 
were in Ireland. Okay. I remember sitting in a pub. I was drinking my, I guess at the time, would have been either Kilkenny or Guinness. I can't remember. Uh, whatever, the, the Guinness and Kilkenny, for sure. Those are the two Irish drinks that I like. I uh, love uh, Kilkenny, very creamy, right? And they're all, it's very corporate now, but 98 it wasn't as much. Okay, go Ireland, Lies says. And I remember sitting there at the bar. I was sitting at the bar, just having a drink. And the local news was playing, right? And the local news in Ireland, in a little pub I was sitting at, right? From a local channel was more informative than the international news and anything that I'd watched in Canada. So I watched this local news and they were covering stuff. I'm like, blew me away. I watched this thing for an hour, right? And there was an old man sitting beside me. I go, you know, you start talking in pubs and stuff like this. And I turned to the guy and said, listen, your news here, is this like a, like, where's this news? And he goes, this is local news stuff. I go, your news is more informative than any other news I've ever seen on any channel in the United States, Canada, or any other country. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? Like, how come the Irish? You guys know this. And he turned to me and said, it's because of our history. Because a genocide was trying to be trying to be perpetrated on us, right? Because the British Empire, the first place they went to to commit genocide, to enslave people, was Ireland, right? So we had to be strong. We had to be informed. We had to be worldly, right? powerful 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 if you are going through hard times when you come out of hard times you should be wiser for it you should be stronger for it you should have more empathy because of it okay be aware of that gang not empathy for your fellow man your fellow countrymen or countrywomen or citizens empathy for the world right very powerful very powerful bureaucracy kills the uk basically criminalized firearms as a result of school shootings in the 1990s lions rte our national broadcast is so non-biased they even call out themselves nice i was stunned by american news when i was watching the american elections it's so filtered american mainstream news is just pure garbage same with canada pure garbage is worse than our education system in terms of indoctrination like that's how horrendous it is really anyone that's going to school in coming out of schooling grade 12 in canada united states if you if you continue to watch corporate propaganda consider yourself more of a dumb dumb than when you graduated high school okay <clears throat> lions we have no time for bullshit england always tried to cover up their war crimes against us so we have no time for lies or deceit yeah and that's the way I saw it in Ireland, straight up, no BS, right? They called it for what it was. It was incredible. It was very cool, actually. Very cool. Very cool. The water exile. I live in the UK, and while people praise our lack of firearms, stabbings have been the replacement method. There's no simple answer. There is no simple answer. You can't just ban guns to eliminate violence because if if countries are banning guns they're not banning all guns they're just saying citizens of a country can't have guns and they're giving all the guns to centralized power well shit history told, tells us that can create serious problems right that can create serious problems look at these two kitties they're like so passed out they're like so passed out they haven't eaten since they slept they're supposed to eat like three times a day their kittens growing up the uk police are becoming more and more armed yeah the uk police are brutalizing uk citizens but we're going into politics we want to stay on top of education right here's to here's to a good education which really only comes through self-education salute gang Our timing was great for this by the way i was timing it so we could enjoy a talk about education while we watch 
salad via just have a snooze right so this is the time they've uh, they're spending uh, when they're nap time I read Krishnamurti on education did you awesome Prabhi Sean really loved it indeed gang if you have not read Krishnamurti's education and the significance of life read it it is one of the best things you will do for yourself ever okay read krishna morty's education and the significance of life wow automata zapping knife crazy lions knife crime is worrying in dublin and a limerick but guns aren't an issue the usual suspects are caught with them like gangs and stuff but our police garda uh, aren't uh, even armed they just carry tasers no firearms really lions i didn't know that emily on charter days great stream chicho i'm going to go to sleep looking forward to your mass stream tomorrow awesome awesome yeah fun discussion important discussion to have right and i might call the stream in about 15 minutes i've been talking a fair bit and uh, my voice is a little rough getting a little rough i want to make sure uh, uh, we can still cover things uh tomorrow and i do have we're doing a mass stream we're going to talk about uh, what do you call it uh, gamestop and what happened on wall street because it is mathematics related very much so very much so uh, but then after that i have a whole bunch of students that i have to uh, uh, do lessons with as well right i'm glad you guys are seeing the kitty cats sleeping they're so cute <laughs> they're so cute and they get they get up they clean each other really well it's awesome super fun super fun i thought they might start waking up now but they're like i don't know let us sleep chicho lions man you need to come back to ireland my local pub does the best Guinness in the world. I guarantee it. Really, Lions. If I come back to Europe, I will definitely come to Ireland. I I enjoy my time in Ireland, man. Water exile. When my grandfather died, I discovered a copy of Charles Dickens' Pickwick Papers. I decided uh, the other month to buy a uh, bar bargain online of all the Dickens collections not read them yet but one of the best investments of my life really water exile i don't know if i've read the uh, dickens i don't know if i have or not bureaucracy kills what is the main reason your students reach out to you um what do you mean how i acquire students how i acquire students is mainly word of mouth um, uh, i have a school i work with uh, I do have, you know, I run an ad on Kiji and use like a website. Uh, and sometimes people find me there. I mean, do the schools not give the help they need? No, our educate. Look, our education system has collapsed in the Western world. If you have a kid in school, right, you have to supplement that education period if you are in school and if you think our centralized education system is teaching you what you need to learn to be prosperous and do what you need to do after graduating high school you're fooling yourself right you need to be self-educating or you need to acquire the help of others to teach you what you need to learn uh, yeah it's because it's garbage our current centralized education, especially in regards to mathematics lions he walks down the street ringing a bell shouting about this too <laughs> about his tutoring <laughs> like i've had one i've had one parent find me online that they live in another province and the kid was going to school here for like six months so they found me i work with their kid and then they started they hired me to work with their kid that lives in the other province and they've told their friends about 
me working with their kids so i'm picking up students from another province that i'm working with right so it's just needed it's just needed it is what it is right it is what it is right when the horse and carriage industry collapsed it was because of a reason right disruptive innovation coming into play they weren't horse and carriage didn't do the job that people needed to get done right bureaucracy chaos i would literally have been better off without school all i gave all it gave me was insecurity and mental health problems okay for me i enjoyed my time at school gang by the way right there was a lot of garbage associated with it i don't know what it would have been when i went to school all these resources were not available right there wasn't any internet that we could learn from you had to look go to you go to the library to get your books and stuff like this so it, we couldn't it was very difficult when i was going to school to self-educate on a major major level right it's a lot easier for people now that being said there's a lot of bs out there there's a lot of noise there's a lot of garbage out there so on that front it takes a little bit of due diligence uh to you know find the right resources and gang apologies if i missed uh people following subbing and stuff like this thank you for the subs thank you for the follows gang and thank you for the discussion oh look at this name i know your name I forget how to pronounce Jeff. That's right. I was looking throughout your whole thing, looking for uh, the words that the word that I was looking for, the name. Jeff, how are you doing? Hello, hello, Chicho. It's good to be here and see you. See you, very cute kittens. Ha <laughs> nice. They're super cool, man. Very happy to have them. <laughs> I gotta just pass a note. <laughs> make sweet mainstream education is merely to build you a framework for the adult life they want you to live for the most part true education comes from oneself self through lived experience without those built-in conceptions agree with meg agree with meg right lions my teachers were kind of asses but the social aspects and just messing around with mates was really fun and i'd love to relive those days yeah i enjoyed it i wouldn't go back to it lions no way no way no way no how uh i gang one of the first things i tell my students i go you have my sympathies for being in this education system oh my god how are you doing hey. kittens are sleeping they're just waking up slowly just slowly waking up <laughs> we gave a good workout this morning this morning they got up with me at like i got up around five o'clock this morning 4 35 o'clock right they get up with me and usually they go to sleep but they didn't go to sleep so they were up from like five o'clock until we end the stream until like what time do we end the stream like 11 o'clock or so and then they passed out until now emily thank you very much for redeeming the points what did the cast think about the centralized education system well i'm homeschooling them so they don't have to attend <laughs> it's the only way to do it man <laughs> salute gang and elder god t for you salute to you as well brother elder god me too my cat nap went a bit longer than i expected as well nice i didn't get a chance to cat nap i was busy i'm gonna upload the our kitty cat stream we had earlier i'm gonna upload the playtime with them where they're just playing separately like little segments 15 minute segments and stuff two of them and then i'll upload the full live stream it was two parts uh, live stream got cut water exile school for me was double-edged i loved art and hated the social aspects this wasn't help 
by the fact that I was growing up at a home with a drug addict. I, and social anxiety was through the roof for me. When I could focus on being creative after school, all my self-esteem stemmed from 100% from focus on that. Okay. Yeah. Water exile, uh, I feel you. I feel you. Uh, I've I've had a any educators has has had students that are dealing with certain aspects of their lives which are quite destructive. Jeff, the best subjects uh, to major in are either physics or economics. In grade twelve, I knew this, so I decided to take astrophysics in hopes to be involved in math in that field. Nice, lions. It's. 1 25 a.m here he, uh here is it too late to get a drop of whiskey to drink along um i don't think so it depends you can always have a quick little sip little nip bet bedtime nip is that what you call it bruno f bruno for series bruno how are you doing <laughs> Hey Chicho, miss, missed you, missed you too, brother. I recognize the name. I totally forget how to pronounce it, man. Nightcap, nightcap. That's right. Have a little nightcap. Have a little nightcap. Salute, lions, for with your nightcap. A quick little drop on the, on the rocks won't hurt. A quick little drop on the rocks. <laughs> and on the rocks means with ice, right? Yeah, it's not bad. I know uh, when my parents, uh, uh, the elders in our family, in our generations, uh, they used to say when kids were uh, teething, right, and they were having a hard time sleeping, they would dip their fingers in the cognac or whiskey or rum and then rub the gums of the baby and that would soothe that would take away the pain and probably get the kid a little buzz <laughs> the kid would sleep <laughs> no nightcap elder god says i still have 48 hours on dry january awesome that's good that's good 48 oh good job brother by the way good job bureaucracy kills then an Irish coffee to get you picked up and run in the morning. Now, if you do that as a habit, that's not a good thing to do. That's not a good thing to do. That's definitely not a good thing to do. Gang, let's call the stream. Okay. Lions, I'm literally not allowed uh, not allowed to dry January due to being Irish. It's criminal not to drink <laughs> Jeff, I do believe that real education can only be self-taught. I remember in school, in high school in Ontario, the education was terrible, especially the courses where they teach you about law and society. Yeah, it's horrendous. In Canada, it's got, gone down the toilet so bad, so bad, so horrendous, so horrendous. Gang, thank you for being here. The kitten stayed uh, sleeping the whole time. Oh, one of them is waking up slowly. Look at him stretching. They're like, ah. Oh. They mesh together so well. Lias, have a good evening, Chicho. Really enjoyed the stream as well. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm half a Scottish. I understand all the concepts. Gang, if you want to follow this work, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho chycho if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share share a like and for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live chycholive if you want to participate in the chat which is where you want to be at and for those of you who've been supporting this work on twitch thank you for the support and mods thank you for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on minds lo vk gap parlor when it comes back and twitter and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want in the chat type in 
exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up including our discord page where people are joining up there there's 700 plus people there sharing a lot of information and discussing certain topics okay we will be uploading the audio of this live stream as a podcast to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and that podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes good night emily says water exile thanks for all you do chicho very appreciative of your considerate answers hope you get as much sleep as the cats haha <laughs> thank you very much water exiles hello Koploy. parlor is down temporarily down temporarily they'll be back up gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see our julian assange and wikileaks playlist and we will be uploading this live stream to youtube bitchute rumble and if we have enough rumble coins we'll upload it to odyssey as well so we'll slowly start uploading stuff to odyssey as the coins permit but everything goes on bitchute and rumble and if you want to support this work you can follow there you can like you can comment you can share and majority of stuff is going to go on the youtube and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership and for those of you who join youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang and everyone of course i hope you guys have a fantastic evening and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 5 at 8 30 a.m pst in uh, 12 15 hours and we're going to talk about gamestop wall street the markets how how the game is played what's going on and we're going to do a little bit of mathematics or a lot of mathematics bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic evening morning afternoon